I don't do live streaming on this channel because I don't believe I'm charismatic enough to pull it off. However, some might see me streaming on other channels as a guest and appearing on panels for online tech talks at events. Fix that. No, you've got to, you've got to do this there. You've got to do this there. Well, you're not going to be there for the thousands or millions of players that are playing your game, hopefully, because you're successful. If you do happen to catch me on one of those streams, you would have noticed the not so wonderful echo that follows my voice around in my studio. The culprit of this is my decision on no soft furnishings. As you'll see from other videos, I don't even really have a normal desk, just a piece of metal that I sit my keyboard and mouse on. So sound absorption is a real issue, and in this video, I take care of it. Now before I start, I want to give a shout out to the inspiration for this build, which comes from Alexandre Chappelle's channel. If you have never watched his channel, I will drop a link in the description to the video in which he does a much better job than I'm about to do on how to create these sound absorption panels. So go check it out after this video if you're interested. But without further ado, let's jump through the steps. First, we will need to cut some wood for the frames. Here I use 4x1 planks cut at 47 inches for the side and 17 inches for the ends. Of course you can vary the sizes depending upon the placement of the panels, just bear in mind you'll need to cut any foam to match and I picked this sizing so I wouldn't have to do any cutting. These cuts I then screw together to give me an outer frame. I then insert a support across the middle which is a 2x1 cut to 15.5 inches. two pieces with a 45 degree angle to act as a slotting mechanism for hanging on the wall and off the ceiling. Lastly, to the frame, and before we lay our fabric cover, we want to bevel the edges so we don't rip the fabric. Now the fabric I bought slightly reveals the frame underneath, which I thought would look good. However, I'm now not so convinced, so it might get a second covering in the future, which is something to bear in mind when you're buying your fabric. We then staple the fabric in place. Note the technique I use here at the corners to make it nice and neat. This fulfills the OCD neatness portion of this build. Now 
Next, depending upon the size of the frame, you'll need to cut some sound absorption material. As stated earlier, I built my frame to avoid cutting. The foam I use here is a standard stone wall insulation. Lastly, we attach pieces of the plank to the wall with an opposite 45 degree angle to the one we added to the frame, spacing these mounts to the same measurement as the separation on the frame. We can then hang our panels and we are ready to test. For testing, I place my Yeti microphone in the middle of the room before and after installation of the four panels. Hopefully, it's easy enough for you to tell the difference. Testing for echoes, sound clarity, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing for echoes, sound clarity, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing for echoes, sound clarity, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Testing for echoes, sound clarity, testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I hope you'll agree it's definitely better. And to double down, I also upgraded my main microphone to a Shure MV7 to complete the echo free streaming. I will link the tools and microphone in the description should you want to check them out. Remember also to check out the inspiration video for this one, which I will also link in the description. For the echo laden streamers amongst you, hopefully this gave you some inspiration, and if so, give it a like and subscribe. This channel is mostly devoted to immersive entertainment development, and I just like to chuck the odd helper video like this one in to make sure I help people out. For more interesting projects, check out the videos I link here. And as always, thanks for watching.